Hi, I'm Oliver Cromer. Uh, I'm the professor at the Intelligent Autonomous Manipulation Lab. And today we're going to be looking at our robot here, Sawyer. So Sawyer is a very interesting platform uh, because it combines a variety of different kind of sensor modalities. Uh, so for example, we have uh, RGBD cameras, uh, both on the wrist and on the top. Uh, so this gives the robot both uh, you know, color information as well as the actual height uh, of the surface that we're manipulating. Force torque sensors at the wrist as well as torque sensors in the joints uh, for getting haptic information. A scale at the bottom for getting ground truth readings of the weight and a contact microphone on the back of the scoop. And so the idea for this platform is that we want to be able to explore how robots can actually manipulate granular materials. So in this case we have uh, coffee beans. Uh, but if you look down here, for example here we've got a very complicated kind of pasta to manipulate as well as soil and other materials, so pellets. So you can imagine there's a variety of different kind of applications where robots may need to uh, interact or manipulate granular materials. And so with all these different kinds of sensor modalities, uh, there's a lot of possibilities for learning how to actually represent these materials and also the interactions with them. Uh, one interesting project that we've been looking into is actually using uh, vibration feedback or audio feedback. So when humans perform manipulation tasks, uh, we, we actually rely a lot on sort of vibration feedback so when we're picking something up or breaking contact, we get very small vibrations which we can detect using our fingertips. And for the robot's case, what it can actually do is it can actually listen to the sounds of the material as it's sort of scooping it, it's pouring it out, or even if it's shaking it. So for one part, we actually looked at uh, shaking it after every single scooping motion, and we could estimate with an RMSE error of about 5 grams uh, how accurately the mass is inside of that uh, scoop. And now to, for comparison, that's actually more accurate than what we can get using, for example, the force torque sensor, um, but at a tiny fraction of the price. So just a few uh, dollars rather than thousands of dollars. Uh, we've also been looking at using uh, deep learning in order to predict how the shape is going to change uh, based on different kinds of scooping actions so that we can actually create different shapes in the granular materials.